Hello and welcome to Speed, the show that takes Singapore property, then explains, explores and deconstructs it. First though, we'll try to deconstruct the profile of a good property agent and ask that age-old question. How on earth do you choose a good one? There are some 1,500 estate agencies operating in Singapore at the moment and around 33,000 estate agents. All that choice and yet the age-old question persists. How on earth do you find a good property agent? For starters, make sure the agent is registered with the Council for Estate Agencies and you can check this out on CEA's online register. And if they are registered with CEA, what do you do next? Speed asked a well-known local real estate advisor and the executive director of the Institute of Estate Agents for some advice. Ladies, welcome to Speed. Now, for most of us, finding a good property agent means referrals from friends. But are there more proactive measures that a person can take to find a good property agent? Well, you can ask for a face-to-face -face interview. Yeah. You can ask them to do a presentation or a marketing plan for you. In this way, you'll be able to gauge whether this agent is, has a good knowledge, experience or track records. Perhaps a client would want to call the agent and chat over the phone first. Test the agent on how well the way he communicates with the client, you know, uh, like uh, whether he's uh, cold or he's warm over the phone before you decide to call them for a presentation. So now we know how to find one. What are the attributes of a good agent? Besides the basic duties, for example, putting up advertisements, qualifying prospective customers, mm -hmm. a good estate agent should follow a straight code of industry, code of conduct and tactics. Not only that, they have to do their own research on the particular uh, property that they are marketing, okay, and the way they conduct themselves, the way they present, most effectively is the communication skills that the agent should have when they market a property or representing the owners. That's the agent doing all the work. What are the pros and cons if a seller, property seller, wants to market the property by themselves? For the seller to market the properties, they will have to answer all the inquiries by themselves. This is very time consuming. Moreover, they do not have all the relevant information on pricing and marketing plans. Yes, it's not easy as you think it may seem to be to market your own property. It's not just merely advertising in a newspaper. There's a lot more because we need to persuade uh, the prospective buyer to convince them to buy your property. You know, uh, the sellers by doing their own marketing of their own property, they may not be able to persuade the prospective buyers or they may not know whether the buyers have seen other properties in uh, relative to what they are marketing. Now often transactions fall apart because buyer and seller can't agree on the price. So how would a good property agent avoid such a situation or mediate a situation like that if it developed? This can be overcome when the estate agents produce the latest updated transacted prices and marketing plan, this will minimize the arguments between both parties when it comes to unrealistic prices. Now, Speed has spoken to the Council for Estate Agencies before. And Rosa, as a practitioner, what are your feelings about the entry of the CEA into the real estate market here in Singapore? The CEA coming to the industry is good because to regulate and enhance the professionalism of the real estate industri industry. However, I feel that uh, CEA is too pro-consumers and I would love to see that CEA would work together with IEA who has been in the industry for about 13 years who knows the framework of the industry very well. If you could sum up everything into a singular point, what would be your one great piece of advice about finding a good property agent? Ask for referrals from trusted friends, relatives, study the property classified very carefully mm -hmm. Ask for a face-to-face -face interview and presentation. As in the institute point of view, I would suggest partnering with a professional estate agents, preferably a member of the Institute of Estate Agents. If the consumers would have done their own little bit of research, uh, they would be able to uh, have a little chat with the agent and to see whether they have a good presentation skills. Uh, they must look good, they must sound good, and they must have a good industry knowledge of the property industry. Ladies, thank you very, very much for coming in to talk to us. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Right.
Okay, next time I'll feel a little more assured when shopping for a